Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Real Newscast Broadcast. I'm still learning the system, so bear with me, but if you will, I've got a little subject that I'd like to talk to you. First of all, do you know that in Canada there is speculation that our own Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, and his family's foundations, they hold approximately 40% of Aquitus. Yep, that's a manufacturing company. Now, which is a manufacturer of mechanical lipids used by no other than Pfizer. <laughs> Coincident, right? Well, anyway, Dr. Malone, you know who that is, obviously, without question. He said there appears that there may be a major financial conflict of interest on the part of Mr. Trudeau. Yep. This was also disclosed many months ago by Dr. David Martin. Now, Dr. David Martin started, or he stated, that uh, he would go one-on-one uh, -on -one with Mr. Trudeau with the evidence he has against him. He even advised Canada to do a police investigation. What do you think happened about that? Right. Nothing. But in the U.S., this would spark a RICO, that's R-I-C-O, RICO, investigation in a heartbeat now the RCMP will not investigate anything that could harm Justin Castro I mean Justin Trudeau now is this coincidence or protection of a lying hypocrite you tell me below in the comments I actually searched it on DuckDuckGo several months back and it was there it since has been scrubbed from the internet. I ask you, how convenient is that? Well, I remain amazed that the Trudeau Foundation does not need to reveal its holdings. Not now, not ever. Why? I don't know, because you think maybe protection? They don't want anyone to know. So why are the police, the court system, protecting this poor excuse of a human being? That is the question. 